Hey everybody, Mandis Buckle here with the Maximum Muscle Report. We're at the 2019 Linda Murray Pro, yes, Norfolk, Virginia. Jonathan Hamber. You know, we knew this was gonna happen yeah. sooner or later, and here it is, Jonathan. You, you made a few adjustments from the last oh, time yes. we saw you on stage. <laughs> yes, I did. Walk us through what happened and walk us through what you're feeling right now because, wow, you're going to the O, brother. Yeah. So last week was a bit of a slip up for me, as you saw. <laughs> um, you know, but I'm, I'm young in the game of bodybuilding, so I'm still experimenting with, with my body. And me and um, Aceto and my trainer, uh, CJ, are still experimenting with everything. So certain things that we did for Chicago, it definitely backfired on us. But, you know, I told um, CJ and I told uh, Chris and Cito, I was like, at Norfolk, this is my last shot. I'm coming all in. And, you know, I want to be dry, hard. I'm probably going to be the biggest on the stage anyways. So I was like, I need to be perfect for this show. I, I have to go to the O. And we made it work, man. Um, cardio was grueling this week. But it all paid off, man. And I'm, I'm just really proud of myself that I got it done. You know, we, we, we saw you in Pittsburgh. and You're, you're an imposing figure. You know, you you look like an action figure. Thank you. And you're you're 21 years old. Yeah, yeah. Talk about a baby <laughs> in the sport. And, and you're smart because you're with Chris Aceto, one of the mm -hmm. one of the best coaches, not only today, but he's he's historic. If you were talking about legendary coaches, yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's Chris Aceto. You know, he'll go down as one of the best ever. Still cranking out guys over and over. What's that experience been like for you so far? Um, man, I'm telling you, like. Just the amount of, of things I've learned about nutrition and just bodybuilding alone has really been crazy. I mean, me and Chris speak literally every day, sometimes five, six times a day. He's kind of taking me really under his wing, yeah. knowing I'm so young. I mean, whether it's just phone calls, sometimes he just call me just to be like, hey, are you, are you feeling good? And he'll be like, okay, cool, see ya. Like, so I mean, just having someone like that look at me, look, like, like looking over me, knowing that he has so much information has really been, you know, it, it's just been kind of, it makes me feel really comfortable going into these preps and now going into the O, knowing that every day he's calling my line like, hey, how you feeling? Like, okay, you just ate that. Well, how does it make you feel? So I've just, I've learned a bunch, man. It's really, it's really been nice. You know, that, that, that speaks volumes and lets you know how high he, he, he thinks of you yeah. and where you eventually will get to. Um, 21, how do you have the the presence of mind and the ability to pull off posing the way you do. You're you're already one of the better posers in the IFBB. I really appreciate that, man. Um, I got to credit that to my father. <laughs> my dad was a bodybuilder back in the days when, like, Arnold was bodybuilding. He's, a, he's an old head. And when I tell you, he hounds me about posing because he was like, you know, he doesn't like watching some of the, some of the bad posing nowadays. So he's like, oh, my God, when it was olden days, you know, they had these pretty posing routines and whatnot. So he's a stickler about that. And he lives near me as well. So he's always like, pose, 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 pose. He's like, if you go out there with a bad posing routine, he was like, don't expect me to come to a show again. So <laughs> I was like, okay, it's got to be perfect. <laughs> All right. So I, I, we got to get something together then now. Your your old man was a, was a good yeah, bodybuilder yeah. and a great poser. You're with Chris Aceto, mm -hmm. Sergio Oliva Jr.'s father, who was, yeah. a, was obviously one of the best that ever did it. <laughs> Sergio's a great poser. Exactly. He's with Chris Aceto. Some promoter out there, you got to bring the two of them out for, exactly. and, and, and guest <laughs> pose. Exactly. And whoever you are and wherever you're going to be, we need to come out there and film it. Yeah. Okay, so Sergio, Jonathan, you guys got to guest pose together. So maybe we'll make that happen. Exactly. I, that'd be fun. I love it. Anybody out there you want to thank? Uh, I want to thank, uh, of course, Chris Aceto. I want to thank my trainer, uh, Marvin C Cornejo. I want to thank my wonderful girlfriend who's been doing everything <laughs> with me and for me. So you meant, to, you meant to thank her first. Yeah, yeah, I meant to thank her first. Don't, yeah. you know, <laughs> maybe, maybe she won't watch. <laughs> I want to thank my little bro, Jared, man. He's been back here on stage getting me pumped up, everything like that, man. And he up next, too. So it's, it's, it's been a crazy ride, man. A shining young star in the IFBB Professional League making his way to his very first Olympia yes, come September. Jonathan, congratulations. We look forward Thank to you. watching you grow in this league. Until next time, Jonathan Mandis from Norfolk, Virginia at the Linda Murray Pro. He's <laughs> heading to the Olympia. Yes, Maximus Report, we're out.